all right you peoples i'm back i'm gonna do uh tell you about the video i'm gonna tell you about the video uh the what i was saying what i started this one off with with the um this ain't the bar um about the follow-up to the single mom's opinion and i'm like i said i'm gonna attach my rant no i ain't gonna attach that rant at the beginning of the video um i'm gonna make that a separate one they ought to be ashamed of themselves. taco bell y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself you talking about this is the sorriest i'm finna show y'all <laughs> I'm finna show y'all what the fuck. Excuse me. I'm finna show y'all. Look at this. Hold on. Let me see. Can you see this? Do you see this? Absolutely not. This is unacceptable. Uh, no, ma'am. No, sir. Abs no. Hell no. I'm not finna. No. So you finna make me pay $3 for two for two uh this one these i don't know what the hell this is they ought to be what in the world taco bell you ought to baby just just slowly bow out just slowly bow out this is ridiculous this is ridiculous but anyway so i'm gonna eat this and tell y'all about i, I don't want to be talking with my mouth full so y'all gonna have to bear with me I haven't had anything to eat today, and I usually don't eat till like 8 o'clock at night, but it ain't going to work out like that today, so I'm going to eat this. Hope I don't waste anything on me because I don't have time for that. I have my napkins on deck, and so, let, hold on one second. All right, y'all. You ain't gotta pray off Taco Bell stuff or you gonna be in the bathroom. So mm. Mm. Well, she's good. This one was this one is decent for Taco Bell. I don't even eat Taco Bell. Mmm. 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 It's good. This one's good. That other one, I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Then, you know Taco Bell used to be the type. So, well, they will give you a whole slew of sauces to where you got a drawer full of them at home. But you know, I had to pull over here and get my own sauce. I'm going to go back inside and give me some sauces. Boy, I tell you. Mm. That's why I think that the government is not trying to raise minimum wage because they're looking at, okay, when I go out and I go to these places, these fast food places or whatever, when I go out, what is my experience like? I don't know that. Fast food. Nobody can top Chick Fil A service. They food is good too. And I'll give them. I will give them a raise. But the rest of you ghettos. Mm mm. Mm mm. I feel not. Because when I look at my experience, when I go out to fast food place, y'all. Y'all in the ashram. That's why I don't go like that. I'm to cook at home. Y'all in the ashram, hell. Attitudes is jacked up. 
And I understand why, because you're already underpaid and overworked. But I'm just telling you. The government wants to keep as much money in their pocket. And if they're looking like, hmm, let's see, do they deserve? I feel like Walmart. Hey, dude, do you really think you deserve to get paid more because of your soup? Because you really need it? Do we really want to pay you more when we've been getting mediocre stuff for decades? Decades. When look, Burger King, they only known for their Whopper. And they impossible, they, I don't know, some people say like the Impossible Burger, whatever. Wendy's, Y'all, I don't like, look, I don't know. Some people like the fries, some people do. I don't know. Some people like the breakfast. I hadn't tried the breakfast. I just go for the chili and the nuggets. Because they have the best, I feel like the nuggets mix the um, Chick-fil-A. So, mm, I don't know. I might, I don't know if I'm going to eat that. I look, I paid for it, but, or I might give it to my son. I don't know. But, so, first of all, I gotta go to the bathroom, so I gotta hurry up and make it to my next destination. But that was all right, and so that'll hold me over until later on tonight when I figure out what I'm gonna fix. But yeah, so that was the end of that quick snack. And um, now on to the video. So, the video is the second part two. And my perspective on um, um, single moms and what they, some of the stuff that they have to uh, face and what they be going through. Thank you, appreciate it. The things that they go through after, once the baby gets there. This is just my perspective. This is what some of the things I have to deal with. This is like, um, I'm going to say before school age, before entering kindergarten. So that's what, um, this is the age I'm talking about. Okay. So my son is here and I'm a single mom, right? He's made it to this world. Okay. So at this point, I'm out of the apartment with the uh, with the dad, right? We, I done got, I done left because you know of that, and then two, I, I could, I was high risk, so they called, so my doctor called my job, excuse me, and told them to take me off the schedule that I can't work because they told me to quit, and I was like, yeah, okay, I got stuff I gotta do, and then I thought I could get away with it, but they found my doctor, and they, I mean, my doctor, my job. And they snitched on me. So they snitched. So now I'm without work and pregnant. At this point, it's too late for anything else. Okay, so this is what we so this is one of the things, depending on what kind of pregnancy you might cannot work. Some people be super women and lifting weights and all of this kind of stuff. I wasn't one of those these were not one of those cases okay so now the people at the apartment complex they let me stay there for some months like to like clear out the like to you know for to finish out the rest of the lease so it won't go on my credit and they they understood that it wasn't it was my fault that i was pregnant but at the same token they understood they sympathized with my situation Okay. So they gave me time to um, go and see, try to figure out where I'm going to live, right? So, mind you, mom, dad, all of this is not an option. This is not an option because, you know, my relationship is very uh, strained with my mom. And so I, I, so I ended up asking her and then the, something happened and something petty happened. And I got kicked out. I don't even want to talk about that. So I ended up staying with my aunt or whatever. So then she did some 
and then I got, I then I was in a homeless shelter. So I had to make the decision to go live in a homeless shelter, and my baby's here now. Well, my baby's here now, and I'm in a homeless shelter. So I'm in a homeless shelter with a newborn. So you got if you gotta find a roof over your head, you gotta do what you gotta do. And if you can't, that's where I that was the, my option. The homeless shelter with a newborn. So at this homeless shelter was they they we were like a family though. We were like a family. We ended up staying in that homeless shelter for almost a year. We were there. Oh, we were there for that long. My one of my best friends, what ended up being two girls from that shelter. So I, I've got, I got, um, I got uh, information, useful, y'all you know, useful information that can help me and my um, son. Once I let out, I ended up um, getting help with um, furniture and stuff like that for my new place. So I ended up getting a place of my own. So now we out, we living, we living, we out the home show, we living right. So during this time, it's me and him. And my dad ended up buying me a little piece of car, but it was a car that got me um, A to B and B to C while I was at the homeless shelter and then I, you know, got, he helped me move my um, stuff or whatever. So, okay. So now we get back to, we good. Guess who wants to be, wants to play like they want to uh, get in the child's life. So I'm like, I told you, doors are open. Now I'm sitting up here like, okay, yeah, come on. And it's basically at this point in your life what you go through as a single mom is the dad feels like he's obligated to continue <clears throat> to have a, 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 a physical relationship with you and he he not even doing for his child so and even if he was I we faced with why do the dads or the moms I don't know what the guys go through I'm just speaking about me and my experience why do the guys think that because you share a child that they have access unlimited access to your stuff whether they're there or not I, I, I want to understand that part like, who said that? Who said that? You know? And, um, yeah, that's that. That's what we be faced with, too. Or the, they just popping up without calling. Stuff like that. And I'm like, why are you guys like that? Why do you assume that? Why do you assume that? Okay, and then now there is no dating nobody else because in your mind, people are going to look at you a certain way. Not that I care about how somebody look at me, but people look at you a certain way and judge the woman, but not the, the dad. You know, if they go and, you know, entertain someone, you know, you know entertain someone why they have but i don't like me i don't that's the reason why i don't think that's a good idea is because i don't have everybody i wouldn't have everybody around my child and you can't trust people and then two like i said that was the main reason why i didn't put him in daycare well i didn't want to put him in daycare that's another thing i'm t gonna touch on is that you got to decide whether or not you want to put your kid in daycare at that such a young age so now you have to find a daycare I'm, I'm sorry I'm jumping all over the place but yeah I don't understand why, why that's the thing with you guys okay so two you have to figure out how long you gonna stay out and not work 
who you gonna get to keep your baby where are you gonna find the daycare is the daycare open during the times of a job that coincides with a job that you get no there is hardly no jobs that's closed on the weekend that you know you could just go ahead and get especially when you have to factor in daycare and all of that so yeah so i had to make the decision i had made the decision not to go to work until after he's walking and talking so he can express and tell me what's going on while he's at daycare or i can see if any um changes or anything is going on with the child while they're in daycare and i was like not my baby since my first not, not my baby you know kind of like them loves commercials that come on where they just overprotective of the first one and the second one they like they a thug but <laughs> but uh yeah that's that's kind of how it is you very overprotective you don't want nobody to touch them don't want nobody to talk to them <laughs> pretty much like give my baby 50 feet don't touch them don't pick them up don't hold them they don't like to be held like that hold his head like you the only mom on this earth and it, it's just too funny that's how it is so you have to look you have to figure out all of this while you're a single parent so that's basically what you having to figure out for the first few years before school kicks in because school is they have to go to school or you go to jail so you know that once they reach um what is it four or five they're gonna be in some kind of uh schooling or something um, until at least three, four, maybe. Late as you can go is six o'clock if you find a daycare. And it has to, like I had to find a daycare where after school they will be at the school and they'll pick up the kids and take them to the daycare. And then when you get off, you go pick them up from the daycare. Now, some daycares offer what well, they don't offer, but what is if you're um, so many, if you late, picking them up usually five or six, i'm gonna say six because they get you up by six uh if they if they close and you don't make it there they charged by the minute they would daycares will charge you by the minute and then if you don't pay the fees when they're due at the end of the week or whatever they will um they will um add on a, a, a fee like a late fee and then um they will add a late fee and then you um your baby can't come until the fee is paid so how you gonna do that so you have to deal with all of that and pampers and if you don't breastfeed you have to uh you got to go if you don't you can't afford this milk and and my kids had special kinds of um formula and this this uh milk was expensive per can so is if you can't afford that you have to go get on government assistance such as wig and deciding whether you're going to go get wig deciding whether you want to go get um food stamps and you really don't be having no choice um i even decided once they got up in age it was like okay if i go work at a, a place that um serves food and they let you bring you know take food home okay that could that could help that could help a lot um you that was saying all of these things you have to think about when you have a kid where you can work what shift you can work um the daycare who how you gonna pay for it uh government assistance and when you get on government assistance some of that stuff is not right then and there some of that stuff is not right then and there some of that stuff you the reason why the section eight list don't move is because people took so long to to get on now and things are only getting more expensive and they're getting more expensive and the wages aren't going up so you have to 
make a decision. You just have to keep making decisions. It's it's a lot that goes into when your baby is little. Everybody is not good with kids, with babies. Um, some of them, when they get two, they get terrible as heck. They get extra terrible. And people don't be wanting to keep them. And it's all of that stuff you have to look into. Especially if you don't have no family that you can call and be like, hey, can you do me this favor? I'm going to say, even God is real as I asked my mom to keep my babies for me to work just on Saturday because they had daycare throughout the rest of the week, but they didn't offer daycare on Saturday. So I was like, can you watch them on Saturday for the Saturday I have to work during at my job? She said, yeah, and she charged me. She was like, I'm going to have to charge you. Now, mind you, these are not her kids. Mind you, I got that part. She didn't help me make them. I get that part. But I think that if your child has your first grandchild and they ask you, can you just watch them one day out of the week when they have to work on a Saturday? Because mind you, I'm off Friday. I was off Friday and Sunday. So, and it's like, you have to pay me. I'm not doing it. You have to pay me. So now you got to come up with that money. Then, it's, it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot that goes into making decisions about who's going to care for your child when you have to work, when you have to, um, when you have to uh, provide and you're the only one, right? You don't think about all of that because nobody told you. Nobody never told you. Nobody, because when you growing up, you only see what you see. You only see what you see. What they a lot, what they let you see, what your family, you know, allow you to see. You don't see the not having nobody to keep your kid or having to lose a job because you you don't have nobody to keep your kid. People don't care about that. People do not care about that because they look at it as you chose to have that baby. So what do you do? What do you do? So, those are the things that come up. I'm not sure. I'm just, I, I just know. And then the reason why people sign up for government assistance too is that they tell you like, oh, you can get help, like financial help. And then on top of it, they will find, they will get the dad, the person, you know, who's the dad and or who you say the dad is and they reach out to them and they uh go and try to get the process started to uh go to court so you can go to court and they can get the chance to get blood tested and all of that kind of stuff but this is how i know that this is what some guys do this is what some guys do that i've seen they will move lose that and quit their job they will do all of this stuff just to avoid getting served with papers and I feel like if you doing all of that you must have some kind of feeling that that child is yours and you're trying to avoid child support and I just feel like if it's a possibility that you could be a child's father or even the mom, I don't know what y'all be doing, but even the moms, right? And you got to track down the mom. I just, 
think that if you know, well, you don't have to track down the mom for child like to get tested. But as far as like getting tested and stuff, if you have a feeling or you know that you slept with that person during the time of conception, I ain't talking about don't be giving the excuses. We wasn't a couple. Okay, I said, was you sleeping with the person? Don't give me the, uh, you uh, hit it on the first night. So, who you don't know who, uh, you, okay, if you so concerned about who she was sleeping with before you hit it, you would have used um, some kind of protection. Or you wouldn't have slept with that person on the first night if you really felt that they were sleeping with somebody else. So at least give both parties, like both parties should have the benefit of the doubt. We slept with each other around this time. This person said, just go in now, get the test. If it comes out, it's yours. Do what you got to do. If it comes out, it's not yours, you can go on about your business. But to deny the child, avoid child support, try to make our uh, people seem like they're gold diggers for putting you on child support or trying to find you to put you on child support. Most women, they don't be wanting to put men on child support unless that was the initial goal. But if you had like a, a, a strong connection, cool with the person and all of that leading up to the child and y'all just didn't work out, the woman is y'all already be trying to bully women into thinking that they're gold diggers because they putting a the man on child support. But they feel like, oh, I'll, I'll just buy the kid what they need. You don't need to put them on child support. And you thinking about the moment in hand, but say at one point, at another point, you have to take care of this child since got 18 or after uh, towards college or whatever. You have to pay child support then, right? So what I don't get is, is that you rather risk just buying the child what they need and thinking that you and the mom is going to be cool for the whole 18 years and she can just go in the court at any time just mad at you and go and try to put you on child support and you could say i have receipts i bought the baby stuff this whole time the judge could take that into consideration but at another point she could say i don't know what you're talking about so why wouldn't you just go in there to get documentation? The money is going to your child. And then another thing you have to, okay, if you was the single dad and you had to take care of the child, you had to maneuver your life, like how I explained with the finding the daycare, finding the shift at work, finding somebody to watch your child, all this stuff you got the, um, Take into consideration while the child is living with you. You have to keep on lights regardless. You're going to have to pay bills and stuff that the baby is at regardless. So they, so it's not like child support is being solely used on the mom. It's like I'm going to have to come out of my pocket anyway to pay these bills. So whether the baby is here or not, these bills are still the same. So that's not what I I feel like. I don't, can't speak for everybody else. Child support is you. Child support, you got to understand, look at field trips, clothes for school. Um, If the kid needs braces, braces is $4,000 now or more, depending on where you go. So imagine you having to pay money every month and maintenance for the arm um, braces you have to buy clothes because kids do grow out of clothes rather quickly um you have to you you have to get the energy you you the one getting up 
during the night when they have the bad dreams and the pee pee in the beds and the blowout boo boos and uh, you have to take all of this into consideration when the child is living with the main parent so it's so hard for the custodian the second person to pay child support and you just have to really alter your schedule based on what the child support what y'all agree on in child support like most people have like we get them every weekend or we get them every other weekend or we'll get them every other holiday or whatever the other five days out of the week the the the, the main person is doing everything so why wouldn't you just be like okay that that's my kid that's a part of me i want the best part of me to be taken care of and I have to worry about nothing. Why is it such a fight to go and get put on child support when at any point she can get mad at you and say you didn't do nothing and then now you stuck and you thinking because you got receipts. They can say them gifts. So that's what, it's a lot of stuff you have to think about like I wasn't told any of this because my dad was there. Yeah, it was like moments, but my dad was there, like in the house, combing our hair and taking us to school. Like that's what, so nobody never said, Hey, this is what, what single mom, motherhood is. It, cause, excuse me, it consists, it consists of this, 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 you got to take all of this. And none of this was told. So now that the baby is here, now you have to do all of this shucking and jiving just to take care of one human being. One human being. And the reason why the judges give the mom the babies over the dads most of the time is because the women, most women are more nurturing. Men will hit you know you see how many cases where you see men who babysat their own kids or watch their girlfriend's kids and they took them out because they couldn't stop crying or they shook them or they broke some bones. And some of these cases be their own kids. That's why because men they kind of you know so you know that's how that is why they most of the time give the kid to the mom that's why they do that and plus women we can multitask the heck out of stuff depending on how strong-minded the person is um so yeah yeah but um but yeah, so that's 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 it's it's like when you're never when you the biggest thing I want you guys to take from this is everybody was not told everybody.